So here we're going to test this battery, but instead of using a multimeter, we're going to use this battery analyzer. This is a Fox, Foxwell battery analyzer. Now when you use a, a multimeter, it can be misleading because, you know, you're measuring the voltage and you're trying to find or hope to find a voltage over 12.6 volt, which indicates the battery is fully charged. But the voltage alone doesn't really tell you if the battery is good. I mean, you might still get over 12.6 volt, but not have enough cranking amps on the battery, which is the case with older batteries. Um, or you might have a uh, low voltage, like look at that, 11.7, and think, hey, this battery is bad, I need to replace it. But um, in this case, this is actually a brand new car, uh, but it has been sitting for a long time. And that's why you see voltage so low, like 11.7, because the car still uses a little bit of current, even when the car is parked. So this battery being brand new, you know, even though at first you think, um, I need to replace it, so you don't rush, because we're going to test it using this battery analyzer, and that will tell us if the battery is bad or not. And that's a more accurate test than using this voltmeter over here. So let's go ahead and connect the Foxwell battery analyzer. Connect the positive over here. It's got a good grip there. And we connect the negative and it just powers on on its own. Let's see if it can... So uh, 11.73. Let's go ahead and press enter. And we have this is 12 volt system, so we'll press enter and it is in vehicle. And this battery has toe posts and side posts. This doesn't really matter a whole lot. Now the battery, the type, it's a uh, Regular, regular or lead acid battery. You can choose um, AGM, which is uh, a lot of times used on uh, European cars like BMW and Mercedes, or gel battery. So here we have a regular battery, and we need to enter the cold cranking amps. These values are always will be printed on top of the battery. Like in this case, you can't really see it because it's right below the bracket right there, but it will say CCA, which stands for cold cranking amps or it will say uh, cranking amps. So you can just select whichever value you want to enter. You don't have to enter all of them, just one. So we'll do cold cranking amp, and then you can scroll down to whatever value um, is printed on your battery. I'll press enter. Press enter. And it says start engine, so we'll go and do that. Let's put that right there. And here it's saying cranking normal. It measured 9.63 volts and uh, it took 0.8 seconds. Now Anything under 9.5 or 9, it's, it means the battery most likely need to be replaced soon. But in this case, you know, this is a brand new battery, we don't have any problems. So next, we need to do a charging or a, a charging test, which test, which uh, will um, check the alternator and the load on the battery and see the output of the battery. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, you got to keep this connected. So the next step is to perform a charging test. This will uh, see how the alternator is working, if it's charging properly the battery, if it produces enough uh, voltage and, uh, or current in this case when you have headlights or uh, let's see like a, a blowing fan or defrost on, uh, things like that. So cranking was normal so the next thing we'll do is press enter and perform a charging test. Now during this procedure you'll have to let the car idle and then you'll rev it up and then you will idle it but with lights on and the um, fan on and also you know rev it up with those with a load on so let's go ahead and do that checking for alternator output now this is still connected to the battery the cable it says rev engine with load off so we're revving that about 3000 rpms It says engine rev not detected. I think we just revved it too late. So we'll press enter uh, while revving the engine. So let's go up to about 3000 RPM and press enter. Okay, now it's detected. Now we need to let it idle and then press enter. All right, turn high beams and lower motor on, uh, blower motor on. 
idle engine press enter to continue now we're going to turn on the uh, high beams but just keep in mind if you have like LED or even HID uh, low beams or high beams for that matter this might not detect the load because they use so much uh, current so little current so LED lights might trick this to think you're not you don't have them on um, if that's the case what you can do is turn on the rear defrost so we'll do turn on the blower fan and the rear defrost and also the fan right here and we'll, we have to let the engine idle and then we'll press enter once you follow all the steps here uh, let the engine idle then rev it up then let it idle again but turn on the headlights or a blower fan and maybe a rear defrost um, then the next step is to rev it up once you do all those steps then you'll have uh, results here you'll say no problems or you'll say you know uh, there's an issue with the alternator or it could also be the voltage regulator in many cases but um, as you can see it's very easy to use and um, also has a nice feature here a bluetooth uh, printer built in so if you have a Bluetooth printer, you can just go ahead and uh, print the results, enter information about the car, and um, just send it right to the printer. So that's great for a shop, and it's great for DIY as well. It's so easy to use, a lot easier, and less confusing than a multimeter. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.